It's time for an edition of Packers Top 5. This installment breaks down the top five quarterbacks in Green Bay history. The Green Bay Packers were pioneers of the passing game under Curly Lambeau back in the 1930s. They had some of the best passers and pass catchers of their time. Unfortunately, these old single wing slingers are incredibly hard to compare to modern T formation tossers, so Packer greats Arnie Herber and Cecil Isbell are not included on this list both of whom are worth mentioning among the greatest Packers passers of all time. Number 5, Don Mikowski, 1987-1992 to The magic man Don Mikowski joined the Packers in 1987 out of the University of Virginia. After a rookie year of mild playing time, Mikowski won the starting job midway through the 1988 season, a position he would hold for the next three years. Before Brett Favre and Mike Holmgren, Mikowski and Lindy Infante were the tandem many believed would turn the Packers around. When healthy, Mikowski could play as well as anyone in the league. He was an accurate strong arm passer with an incredible knack for making memorable plays. He was also a tremendous scrambler, rushing for over a thousand yards and nine touchdowns in Green Bay. The Packers, led by the Magic Man, won ten games in 1989, tied for the most wins by a Packer team since 1966. Don Mikowski himself finished only behind Joe Montana in the MVP voting and went to the Pro Bowl after leading the league in attempts, completions, and yards. This would be Mikowski's only year in the sun, however. Mikowski suffered a devastating injury to his throwing shoulder in 1990. And upon returning in 1991, the Magic Man's wildly inconsistent play and further injuries helped bring an end to the Lindy Infante era. Mike Holmgren named Mikowski his starter in early 1992, but three games in, Mikowski was injured once more. A man named Favre started the next week, and Mikowski would never throw another pass for the green and gold. Mikowski's 1989 season ranks high on the list of greatest Packer passing seasons, and Don Mikowski is number five on the list of the greatest Packers quarterbacks of all time. Number 4, Tobin Rote, 1950-1956 Tobin Rote was one of the few bright spots on the pitiful Packers teams of the 1950s. A mountain of a quarterback for his time, the 6'3", 220-pound Rote won an NFL passing title in 1952, led the league in passing yards in 1956, and passing touchdowns in 55 and 56. Rote might be more remembered for his toughness and his scrambling ability, however. Rote actually led the team in rushing in 1951, 52, and 56. Rote was one of the league's premier offensive players of the 1950s, passing for over 11,000 yards and rushing for 2,000 more as a Packer. On teams that needed all the help they could get, number 18 would do whatever it took to lead his team to a victory. If he had come along a decade later, he might be number one on this list. But as it is, he'll have to settle for number four. Number 3, Lynn Dickey, 1976 to 1985. Lynn Dickey joined the Packers in 1976 to help get their passing offense off the ground. The Packers hadn't had a quality passer since Bart Starr left. Now with Bart the head man on the sidelines, Dickey was his best hope to turn Starr's offense into the powerhouse many expected it to be. Unfortunately, that explosion would have to wait. Dickey broke his leg in 1977 and would not play again for two years. But upon his return, Dickey showed it was worth the wait. Lynn was back and played the best football of his career. Dickey averaged 3,600 yards and 21 touchdowns every season for the rest of his career. He holds the franchise record for single season passing yards with 4,458 in 1983 and led the Packers to their only playoff win between Lombardi and Holmgren, a 41-16 whipping of the Cardinals in 1982. Dickey tore up St. Louis in that game with 260 yards and four touchdowns without an interception. Dickey solidified the Packers quarterback position for almost a decade and at times was brilliant. Standing out are a 387-yard, three-touchdown performance in a Monday night win over the world champion Redskins, the highest scoring game in Monday night history, and a seemingly impossible 299-yard performance in the famous Snow Bowl game in 1985 against Tampa, his final start in the NFL. Unfortunately, poor defense, inconsistency, nagging injuries, and a propensity for throwing interceptions in crucial times cost his teams quite a few victories and himself a chance to be higher than third on the all-time Packers list. Number 2, Brett Favre, 1992-2007. to 2007. What is there left to say about Brett Favre that hasn't been said a million times already? 
He's the all-time leader in every single volume NFL passing stat, all of which he broke as a Green Bay Packer. Perhaps no one was better in the history of the game at making a play out of a bad situation than Favre. Favre would never give up on a play, always believing it could end in the end zone. Even in his last days, the play wasn't over until the referee blew the whistle. Favre and company led the Packers out of the Middle Ages between Lombardi and Holmgren and made them a true NFL power. Favre is the only player in league history to win three consecutive MVP awards. He led the Packers to their first Super Bowl championship in 29 years in 1996 and brought them back to the Super Bowl again in 1997. He won more games than any player in history as a Green Bay Packer. He defines stability, starting 253 consecutive games for the Packers, a staggering number at any position. Just as remarkable, Favre perhaps played his best season of his NFL career at age 38. Not only did he set new records for almost every volume's NFL stat over the course of that season, he was selected to his ninth Pro Bowl, as a starter no less, and led the team to the NFC Championship game with a 13-3 record. Now I know what you're thinking, why isn't this guy number one? Well, it comes down to championships. Favre was one of the best playoff performers in league history during the Mike Holmgren years, but not his last half of play. Look no further than overtime of the 2007 NFC title game to see why Favre isn't number one hands down. Too many good teams died by the right arm of Favre in disastrous playoff performances late in his career. Favre was a magnificent player and should always be considered one of the greatest players in the history of the game. But coming through in the clutchest of clutch situations eluded Favre too many times in the second half of his career. The thing number one on this list never had a problem with. Number one, Bart Starr, 1956. 1971. Bart Starr, the steely-eyed general of Lombardi's team. Things didn't start well for Starr as a 17th round pick, but through hard work, dedication, and Vince Lombardi's guidance, Starr became the only signal caller in league history to quarterback five NFL championship teams. And he was largely to blame, recording an NFL record 104.8 quarterback rating in his postseason career. But first he had to get his team there. Starr led the NFL in passer rating five times, something Brett Favre never did, and won league MVP honors after the 1966 season. But Starr always saved his best games for the biggest games. He threw 15 touchdowns to only three interceptions in his entire playoff career. And he saved his only career postseason rushing touchdown to culminate a 68-yard journey down a frozen road a road he cleared with 5-for-5 five five passing and a one-yard plunge to put away the Cowboys and stamp his team as the only in history to win three straight NFL championships. Oh, by the way, he won the first two Super Bowl MVP awards, too, with a combined quarterback rating of 106. Bart Starr shredded Hall of Fame-laden teams in frozen Green Bay, blistering Dallas, humid Miami, and in balmy Los Angeles to make his mark as the best big game quarterback of all time. If you want NFL record volume stats, Bart Starr is not your first choice as quarterback. But if you want to win, there is no other choice. Bart Starr, the number one quarterback the Packers have ever had.